Can you bring in some documentation about that? Like work? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. The Senior Extension Program kind of developed out of a need for kids who needed a little extra time to graduate. We were finding that some of our kids were kind of taking a little longer um, just through challenges, maybe getting reincarcerated kids, jobs, whatever, and so we needed a way to service these kids to still allow them to get their high school diploma. You have this next Thursday between 12.30 and 1.30, you can bring the baby work. They're referred to us out of the district and they come to us with their continuation schools blessing. Uh, we go into there, we'll get the enrollment at their site, um, we kind of handhold them through the process, we make sure that their credits and everything are uh, not getting lost, and when they show up on our doorstep, we're ready to go to kind of serve them. Well, it's helped me a lot. It's given me more credits than I was getting there, so it's easier for me. And being able to get my high school diploma, which will give me more opportunity. With a normal, you know, traditional school with the children, I can't, you know, they don't work with your schedule or anything like that. Versus the program, I could go whenever it was, you know, available for me on my time to get things done. And so that was convenient. You know, I could go pick up work and I could just take it home or whatever and then just bring it back and I'd be fine. And I mean, I think if I didn't do the program, I probably wouldn't have finished. Sometimes some students or some kids like it, some students don't like high school, so I was the student that didn't like high school really. But I want to finish and do what I had to do to be an adult. It means a lot to me and it means a lot to my mother because she's the one that I strive to get my diploma because uh, I'm the first child in her family to have the diploma. Just to get them re-engaged. I mean, kids coming back into school, um, looking to get, you know, whatever it's homeless services, whether it's, uh, you know, access to college, career, CTE classes. I mean, that's the stuff that benefits them. You got to strive for that. So you want to put yourself in the future of, well, what do you want to be? Do you want to be somebody sitting at home every day or do you want to be out doing what everybody else is doing, getting jobs and finishing school and doing what they want to do in their life and have a career at the end? I'm proud. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of myself for my children because now they have someone to look at like, you know, you had all these obstacles and you still made it. You, know, you still achieved what you needed to do. They're so appreciative of everything. I mean, their parents are appreciative. You get texts now coming back and saying how much they never thought this day would come. Uh, first in their family to graduate, you know, and they set a path. And, and I said, that's, I mean, that's, that's why you, I guess that's why you teach, is you have those moments where you can kind of look into and say, wow, I mean, that definitely is going to change someone's future. Um, and that's a hard, you can't put a price on a feeling like that.